Hello, frugal friends. Wendy here. I have a grocery haul slash shop with me today. Visited my four favorite stores: Atlas Market, 99 Cent Store, Grocery Outlet, and Aldi. To all my subscribers, welcome back. I'm so grateful to have you. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you join my channel. I do a lot of lifestyle type videos about frugal living, minimalism. I also do clean with me videos and decluttering. Now on to the shopping. Now for this week, because I was stocking up, I did end up going to four stores. Here I started at Atlas. This is a local market in San Diego and it's one of those ethnic markets that you find a really small family owned type of market and they have great produce. Initially, I was quite intimidated to come in here because it is predominantly um, Middle Eastern type of store, but no one's ever given me any issues and they've been really welcoming and friendly and you can see their prices are incredible. The produce is of really good quality when I, whenever I come during the time that they're loading. So I do encourage you to branch out from, you know, the normal national brand branches of grocery stores and to try to shop locally, farmers markets, um, family owned stores, ethnic stores, those types of things. And look at the quality of this bok choy. It is the freshest that I've seen. And these are the biggest lemons that I've ever seen in my life. Four pounds for 99 cents? Yes, please. Now for this store, I visit quite frequently and I've noticed that Friday evening seems to be the best time for produce. That seems to be when most of the workers are on the floor stocking all the fresh produce and it really does pay off to come on Friday and I feel like I hit the jackpot here I love Italian squash and it was three pounds for 99 cents these are so delicious and I just wanted to show you even this store has clearance grocery racks. They had three carts full of items that were marked down for quick sale and the expiration dates on them were very far away honestly. I don't know why they were getting rid of them or trying to get rid of them but it was a really great deal. And this is my haul altogether. You can see I got some bok choy. I got two pounds of beef bulgogi. This is marinated sliced beef ready to cook. I got a bunch of Asian pears, some imitation crab meat, uh, some of those sugar-free jellos that you saw, 10 for a dollar, I couldn't pass those up. Two bags of the romaine hearts. This was 99 cents for both of them. And a huge bag of zucchini, and you can see the Fuji apples there. So all in total, this costs $25.30. It's 7.30 and I'm going to the grocery store today. Nobody's awake right now. Ah. It's 7.30, as you heard me say. It's raining and nobody in California knows how to drive when it's, it's raining. okay because it's 7.30 and pretty much no one else is awake right now. I had the road mostly to myself. I had very little traffic. It was really a smooth, pleasant shopping trip. Now, it did take me a little while to hone this route that I take, but I, I made it so that I could hit three stores easily. I first go to the 99 cent store. Um, I found that if I go there Sunday morning, right when they open at 8 a.m., that they're always clearancing out, marking down items that are going to expire either this day or very close to this day. 
and I usually get quite a good a few good deals here that I use to stock up my freezer. Now the first thing that I ran into was a whole display case of tortilla chips and we love tortilla chips in this house. We, whenever we run out, it is unacceptable and there's a riot. So I stocked up and I got four bags of these things. This is a really good name brand too. I highly recommend it if you see this at your store. One thing about shopping the 99 cent store is sometimes they have certain products that are marked up in price, but those are usually clearly labeled like these frosted mini wheats here. They were clearly labeled to be $1.99. And then you can see what I'm talking about, about the workers stocking. They were all over the store doing this. Now, for some reason, at my store, the Christmas items were not on Markdown. Everything was ringing up full price. I don't understand why, but this was all that they had and I had, you know, gone to the front to ask them to check the price for me and it rung up at a dollar. So, sad. That's probably actually the reason that they had so many of the good candies left over usually when they're marked down, they're usually left with those the most plain candy canes that you can ever find. But these these were pretty good candies, a good selection that they had left here. And this aisle was just full of yummy snacks, but I walked by. I didn't pick up anymore because I got the four bags of chips. Now this is the awesome bread rack that's at my store. You can see it has three sides and it's just filled with bread. Now these, at the time that I got them, they weren't set to expire until I think the 15th or the 16th. So it was a pretty long expiration date. I did end up buying four loaves and put two of them in my freezer. We've already eaten two of them. We eat a lot of bread. The bread froze really well and I honestly should have picked up more. This was a really good selection that they had here, but uh, I guess I can go back next week. I just don't really want to wake up again. 7.30 on Sunday. Carbs for days. <laughs> now these middles looked really interesting, but I ended up skipping out on these because of the calorie content. And then I thought, well, I could just make toast and spread some cream cheese on it. And that would be a, um, more economical breakfast. This only had eight of those little bites for a box, which is a really good price. I mean, it's better than paying full price, but it's more economical to do the cream cheese along with the bread. And then I found two, only two bags of this singles corn left, and I grabbed them both. It was really convenient to have on hand. I'm really impressed by their selection of frozen vegetables. There are a bunch of name brands in there. I didn't load up here because I already had bought a bunch of fresh vegetables the day prior 
but I, I would totally have loaded up if, you know, I didn't have that already. But they have tons of, you know, delicious looking foods. Now here I really scored. Look at this. They had cream cheese, 99 cents. So I picked up two to go with the bread. And then right next to it are these two pound containers of Greek yogurt. Now, I looked this up online. It's at least $5 for one of these. So I loaded up on six of them. It was really delicious yogurt. And then you can see they had some of this pumpkin spice flavored yogurt marked down. The expiration date goes well into, I think, February. So I picked up a bunch of those and then the Lunchables were four for 99 cents. And this is the only time I buy Lunchables is when they're a quarter. So I got all that they had and my son is very happy. Now we're not really juice people, but if we were, this would be an amazing deal for us. And then I saw potato salad clearanced at 25 cents. This freezes really well, so I loaded up on four. And then I wanted to show you that the 99 cent store also packages produce for quick sale. You can see each, there's, each package there has two bags that they normally sell for $1.99 and they were selling that entire thing for 99 cents. One thing that I love stocking up on here is their beans. They have a great selection of beans, all 99 cents a pound. And really in the regular grocery store, they are more than a dollar, usually more towards 150. So it's a great deal to buy your beans here. And these beans, the Maya Kappa, I probably butchered the name, really delicious beans. So I picked up a bag of those and I was really looking for lentils, but they didn't have any sadly. So I guess I'll have to come back another day. Another thing I saw was this cake mix. It was kind of standing alone and I thought, oh wow, it's nut free and allergy free. My son has kit his friends over sometimes and they have allergies so I can make this and serve them something that won't make them sick. Um. Now cereal bars. 99 cent store for me has always delivered on cereal bars. They usually always have some sort of name brand cereal bar that they have for sale and today was the Nutrigain bars so I picked up a box for my husband and son. And this is something interesting that my son wanted to try so I thought I'd pick one up for him. Now these bags, they're really useful to have in the kitchen. I use them all the time. I know I probably should use more reusable items, but these are very convenient to have around. And just look at all of the Tupperware that they have, all these containers and plates. Oh, they're so pretty. When I saw these baskets, I had to pick some up. Originally, I put three in my cart, but then I thought about it and figured I only really need two. And at 
$1.99, that's a really good price for the quality of the basket that you're getting. These are really sturdy and I use them all around my house. They're really beautiful and useful as well. And then I wanted to show you that the 99 cent store also has clearance racks, more clearance racks. So these are the items that they have that they marked down. I didn't find anything really useful there, so I just moved on. One thing that I love buying from here is their um, vinyl gloves that they sell. They sell them in the automotive section. There's a hundred to a bag and it lasts for a really long time. I use this in food prep in the case that I don't want to get my hands really dirty. Things like um, jalapenos or any sort of peppers that I'm cutting. Usually there's some oil that's left on my hands and I'm really bad and I end up touching my eyes and my nose and it ends up burning. So I've learned to use these gloves and at a scent of glove, yes, please. Also in the automotive section, they had these hanger hooks for the car. I thought it looked really interesting. And then this car mount for $1.99. Have any of you guys used that? Is that any good? I, I didn't want to buy it if it wasn't good. And look at this. This thing was right at the front of the door. It's one of those fancy dispenser things. It just looks so beautiful. Now what concerned me though was the spout looked a bit flimsy so I would be concerned about leakage but it is really beautiful and unfortunately I couldn't find the price on it so I ended up not buying it. This one without the spout was only I think it was $1.99 or $2.99 I don't remember. So anyway this is what I ended up getting from the 99 cent store and then I'm heading to grocery outlet. Now there okay. is a strategy here. here. Grocery outlet outlet, grocery, you can kind of see the bits. I come here second because they are known to buy the same things that the dollar store buys and then double the price. So like that coffee that I got, they would charge $1.99, sometimes $2.99 for the same thing. Sneaky grocery outlet, I know your secrets. Now sometimes grocery outlet does marked down some of their produce but today they weren't really marked down at all. I really come here for a lot of their meats. Sometimes they have really nice markdowns on meats or like fresh meat or convenience meats like like meatballs or sausages, those kind of things. But today they're very bare. Maybe they just haven't stocked up yet but this was the only real deal that I ended up getting and my husband and son, they said this was really delicious. Now here's a prime reason of why I come here second. See this coffee? I got it for 99 cents at the dollar store. Here's $1.99. And then the rice was an amazing deal. It was less than 50 cents a pound, so I grabbed a bag of that because we eat a lot of rice. Okay, here's another example, uh, this Gavalia coffee. 
I got it for 99 cents a box at one time. They're charging $3.99. Sneaky grocery outlet. No. I have noticed that with grocery outlet, if there's a price that ends in a seven, that means that they're trying to move that product. So the expiration dates on those items are pretty close. But they're still far enough out for us to use all of it by the time it expires or close to the time that it expires. I'd be surprised if this lasts the week. This will be gone by the end of the week. Now here's where my impulsive shopping got the better of me. Well, almost got the better of me. I almost picked up four boxes of these gums, but I don't really chew gum, so I put them back. For some reason, we tend to eat a lot of ice cream in the winter, and this, these ice cream sandwiches, we really enjoy having these for dessert. I found that it's worth checking out their frozen convenience foods because sometimes they do end up marking these items down and when they do, I just stock up. They didn't really have anything good today so I passed. The one thing that I almost always pick up from Grocery Outlet though is their palette of hash browns. They sell 20 hash browns for I think $2.99 which is a pretty good deal I think. It's a convenience food and it's not the healthiest but it keeps us from going out and it's quick to make so it's nice to have on hand. for y'all to give me some good deals. Now normally Saturday morning, Aldi will mark down their meats, but I guess they didn't have any this morning. All of their meat packages are set to sell by the 18th. So I will probably be back next weekend. And I do like to scope out their dairy. Sometimes they have really good deals. You can see I did end up picking up a package of chicken because it's generally a good price, $1.49 a pound for boneless, skinless chicken breast and then two containers of cottage cheese and of course their milk. And anytime I come to Aldi, I end up stocking up on eggs. I usually pick up the maximum that they allow you to buy. So today I picked up six. And then going down the junk food aisle, I saw a bag of nacho cheese tortilla chips and picked up one bag. Here's all the food that I bought this weekend. All said and told, I probably spent about $120 or so. I'll put the exact total up on the screen. But this will probably last us two weeks, maybe three if we push it. Um, and we do pack our lunches. My husband and myself pack our lunch for work and my son for school. We always bring all of our food and we eat at home for the most part. And this will last us quite a while. I will probably have to go to the store in a week to fill up on produce, but this should be the bulk of our food for two weeks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this shop with me slash grocery haul. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. Thanks.
拜。